Hello, good evening. It's been a predominantly cloudy weekend. We've lost the bright sunshine of last week, but we haven't picked up much rain. And actually, so far this January, we've only had about 50% of the rainfall we would normally see by this time. And that dry theme continues for at least another day or two because of this area of high pressure. Yes, we do have some weather fronts, but as they come southwards into the high pressure, they tend to get squeezed out. There's not really much rain left on them. And not much sunshine, as I mentioned earlier. We had a little in the southwest. We had more in the northeast of Scotland. And the predominantly cloudy skies will persist through this evening and overnight. So where we do have some breaks, we will see a little bit of patchy fog, a little bit of patchy frost. But neither will be widespread. And the rain in the north won't be particularly heavy. But that is a weather front. And that will bring cloudier skies in and some hill fog to the northern west Isles, the north of mainland Scotland. And it will sink southwards during the day on Monday. So coming into the Murray Firth area. Some brighter skies potentially to the south here for Scotland, Northern Ireland, perhaps Northern England, North Wales and the Midlands. But further south, I think it's going to be quite gloomy and cold and particularly where any morning mist and fog lingers, perhaps four or five degrees. But we should see some sunshine coming through for Caithness, Sutherland and up into the Northern Isles through the afternoon. But then that weather front pivots back on itself again. Not much weighing around on it, as you can see, during the course of Monday night into Tuesday. Still just patchy frost and patchy fog further south as we don't really change much at all. There's very little wind to move things on. Indeed, Monday, less windy than Sunday and still not very windy on Tuesday either with that weather front still in close proximity to the northwest of Scotland. And again, where we've got that morning mist and low cloud and fog, it's going to be cold and quite gloomy because that high pressure is just trapping that cloud underneath and there's no wind to move it on. But by midweek. Just the chance that things may change, particularly towards the north, as the wind starts to strengthen, the Atlantic weather fronts come in, and there's just enough wind to start to mix the air up a little bit and perhaps break some holes in that cloud and see some more sunshine. And temperatures are also, because the wind's starting to come in from the southwest, will start to lift a little bit, a bit above average, as you can see. So it'll start to feel a bit milder, particularly given a little bit of sunshine, which, as you can see, is coming through in the forecast charts. As ever, there's more on the website.